All right, listen, I want what's best for you and not having these iPhone accessories, it might bite you in the butt later. Hey everyone, it's Brian from Accessify and I have five accessories that I believe you need. But first, I want you to meet Timmy and his brand new iPhone. He loves it. I love it. But he wants to make sure it's protected in the event that he drops it. So he needs a case. Now, they're great for two reasons. One, to protect your over a couple hundred dollar product that you purchased. And second, cases can be used in so many ways to just express your personality. Now for me, I just love the ability to see the color of my blue iPhone 13 mini. So I like using clear cases like this one that Apple sells that robbed me of $50 and getting this cool animation. Or some of you may buy those beefy cases that you think will save you, but in reality just haunt my oh. dreams. And some may have a certain aesthetic that you wanna match, but after five minutes of looking at it, it makes you drool. Whatever it may be, cases are important, but I believe the best cases are ones with MagSafe. Now think of it this way, if you have a MagSafe case, but don't use MagSafe accessories, you're good. When you don't have a MagSafe case and want a MagSafe accessory, you might as well think about your life choices for not buying a MagSafe case to begin with. Attaboy Timmy, you got yourself a nice looking case right there, but he really enjoys his screen and doesn't want anything to happen to it. So he looks for a screen protector, but not any screen protector, a tempered glass screen protector. Now, some of you may think this is stupid, but the amount of times that these small thin glass layers have saved me from scratching and even breaking my iPhone screen and my other tech, it's more than I can count, which I think the highest I can count is like five which is probably why I only picked five accessories for this video, but anyway. Maybe you have that one friend, family member, coworker, or crazy ex that's just a nosy person who likes looking at your personal information. <laughs> you only got $20 in your bank account? You're poor, dude. Seriously? What? So if you have people like this, privacy screen protectors like this one by JE Tech can help you prevent these nosy people from looking at your stuff. Whatever type of screen protector you buy, clear ones like these from M Film or privacy ones like from JE Tech, make sure you buy like a pack of three because you know when you have the smallest scratch or even bubble, you're gonna go crazy and wanna replace it. Hey, your phone has a scratch on it. Come on. All right, Timmy is happy, but unfortunately after a long day, his iPhone needs to charge. So he grabs the included USB-C, a lightning cable, and realizes that he has nowhere to plug it in. So we're going on to power. Now, because iPhones don't come with charging bricks, you need to find ways to charge your phone. Now, I personally like wireless charging, so I don't have to worry about cables, but unfortunately, you may be waiting for it to charge for a while. Or some people just like using cables for the faster charging speed, but when it comes to bedtime, you can't find the cable in the dark, so you can plug it into your phone. If you wanna use the cable that comes with your iPhone, the Anchor PowerPort 3s are 20 watt bricks that come in a pack of two and are the size of the those old Apple five watt bricks. Or if you want wireless charging, my wife and I have been using these charging stations for our iPhones, Apple watches, and even our AirPods for a long time. Now these don't use MagSafe for anything, but feel free to get one with MagSafe if you prefer. I can't really find this exact one that we have. So I'm just going to link an identical one with a random Chinese brand on it. If you love MagSafe stuff, but may not have other Apple products, you could buy these magnetic puck wireless chargers from all different brands that just use the magnets to align it to the charging coil perfectly. Now these guys don't really have a lot of power. They only rock in seven and a half watch. So you might as well go learn a new hobby or go touch some grass while you wait for it to charge. All right, Timmy is ready for bed and now he has a charger for his phone. Now he's waking up bright and early with a fully charged iPhone ready to start the day. He has to his car and has no safe place to put his phone. So he needs a car mount. Now these are needed for any daily commute, extended road trip, or just to easily switch the song you're playing. But most importantly, safety. Now if you wanna end up like me back in 2020, I recommend you buy one of these. I actually basically fell asleep behind the wheel for that crash, but that can happen to you when you're looking at your phone and texting while driving. That's right, I'm watching you. I see you losers swerving off the road when trying to text. It can wait, okay? 
Anyway, sorry for that little moment right there. But anyway, car mounts come in different types, some with suction cups, others with the ability to fit into your car vent. I recently reviewed the Anchor 613 MagSafe car mount, which you can go check out by clicking the card above after this video. But this is an easy car mount to charge in place and remove with ease. Now we all have different cars, so make sure you find something that works with your car. I enjoy suction cup base mounts over air vent ones because when it comes to colder temperatures and you turn on the heat, it just overheats your phone and that sucks. Now, unless you have a Kia Soul, just trash the thing and actually get a good car. Stop driving a literal shoebox to places, okay? Come on now. Sorry about that. Anyway, Timmy got a car mount that suits his needs. He heads to work. He's working hard until it's his lunch break. Now he wants to enjoy a quality YouTube video like this one you're watching. So he needs a pair of headphones. Now headphones or earbuds come in many different sizes and shapes with differences in sound quality. Now personally, I love my AirPods Pro for the features it has with my iPhone, but I have the first gen pros that I've had for like almost like what, two years now. And when I want an introvert, I can only do so for like 20 minutes and that makes me depressed inside. My wife has also been using the Beats Flex for a long time now and we still have not been able to find something different, mainly because of her small ears. But if AirPods or even Beats don't work for you, there are countless amounts of other headphones from multiple different brands. So don't be afraid to try multiple pairs to get one that works perfectly for you. Now, some of you may not need headphones, but just wanna play some music nice and loud. Now, as far as I'm aware, you're not gonna be that guy that plays music at a party through your iPhone speakers. So I believe you need a Bluetooth speaker. Now I received the Anchor Soundcore Mini 3s as a Christmas gift about a year ago. And while I said to myself, I will never use these, I was wrong. These things are awesome and I love the sound quality. I'll be making a review of these guys soon, so get subscribed for that. But just like headphones, there are so much other speakers from multiple companies. So find one that fits your price range with the best quality you can find. Well, peeps, these are the five accessories that I believe that you need for your iPhone. Now, Timmy believes he has everything he needs to prevent his life from going into shambles. And if you want to not go into shambles and be like Timmy, if you're interested in anything we checked out today, everything will be linked in the video description below. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe if you like bananas, and don't be afraid to leave a comment on anything you want me to check out in the future or to tell me you also don't like Kia Souls. Y'all have a good one. Now, I'm gonna eat this banana. Yeah, it's a good banana. You should get subscribed.